Catherine Brachin and Nicholas Cohen use with you. We continue to talk about blockchain projects. And today with us, Maxim Yarushin, Streamity Chief Business Development Officer. Hello, Maxim. Nice to meet you, Nicholas Cohen U Studio. Hello, nice to meet you too. <laughs> Stream Desk, the server that you're launching offers free fiat crypto transfer between users. It is a decentralized platform based on the smart contract architecture and the API of payment system. What does this mean? So, yeah, uh, so thank you for inviting me. Uh, that means uh, that transfer between uh, fiat money uh, conducted directly by the users uh, inside the third party service or payment systems. Uh, so, and while cryptocurrency is locked uh, on the uh, smart contract side, and we guarantee the security of transaction uh, because of the smart contract architecture, uh, uh, that means that API uh, of uh, payment uh, systems uh, are connected to, with the smart contract and we can achieve uh, the signals uh, from these payment systems uh, that fiat money has been transferred uh, between uh, users. Uh, so uh, 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 everything is automatically, uh, everything is going automatically then means that it is impossible to cheat the system. It is very interesting. I cannot remember that anybody has done anything like this before. However, today one of the main market problems concerns the security inside to the service itself. We all remember the infamous empty gox. Bitfinex hacking in 2016, the shutdown of BTCE in 2017. How do you solve security problems? Yes, it's a good question, and we uh, so and it is uh, one of the greatest advantage of our project because we do not uh, collect uh, uh, fiat money or, and or crypto on our side. We just connect it uh, to the wallets uh, of the users. Uh, they and just uh, take a signals from their side. Uh, so, for example. Uh, uh, we can connect uh, our systems uh, mm, to their wallet using the public keys. However, we do not touch the private keys, and they just accepting transactions, uh, accepting transactions when it is needed. Uh, so, um, thank, uh, thank you to thanks to our partner Ether. Uh, Ether. Um, we use uh, the services uh, to connect uh, to the wallet uh, of the users. Today, there are many services that allow you to withdraw fiat, dollars or euros, simply by having a Visa card and having cryptocurrencies on your account. It makes it so much easier to carry out purchases, for example. Why do we need your services then? So, yeah, uh, the streaming team uh, has uh, Vision, um, vision about this uh, kind of projects. Uh, you know, in our opinion, uh, uh, on users on the market uh, will not immediately spend their money uh, on the <laughs> inside uh, the stores. Uh, you know, because the crypto is looks like more, you know, like a speculative tool. Uh, such as uh, gold uh, or silver uh, uh, ser uh, several years ago, <laughs> you know, in the good old times, <laughs> in the old, old days. So, uh, uh, moreover, uh, it is uh, very, you know, uh, hard uh, uh, in many countries uh, to register uh, such kind of solutions and connect the crypto to the Visa or MasterCard or other payment services. Uh, that means uh, that uh, users always need to pay a high fees uh, to use such kind of services because of uh, this kind of regulation. And our goal is to give the users an opportunity to buy and to sell the crypto at a fair exchange rate and ensure their security. Many users want to remain anonymous and do not want anyone to know what they're doing. As far as I know, is your KYC system is a mandatory procedure. 
Uh, yes, uh, absolutely right. Exactly. Uh, so every users who use uh, the streaming platform uh, uh, need to go through the KYC procedure. So uh, we believe that it's very important if you uh, want to create a product uh, that will be used by millions of people and uh, you have to work in compliance with the requirement of each region and we do not think that uh, it goes against with the mainstream uh, users needs. I think, uh, uh, you know, trust and compliance uh, uh, is uh, like uh, our aim <laughs> to to be the legitimate uh, in many countries. Uh, that's why the KRC uh, policy is very important for us. As far as I know, you collected $4.2 million during the first phase of the ICO. Despite the fact it was carried out during the market collapse, I heard that many projects decided to postpone their token sale until better times. And many others ended in the failure. Is it marketing? <laughs> so, uh, not uh, so marketing, I think, uh, mostly as a product. Uh, because Stream Dex Desk is a product that people love, uh, so we create a service and market uh, really need uh, this service. Uh, it's a unique product uh, and a must have if you are interested in cryptocurrencies. Uh, and I think it's a very good entry point, uh, you know, to for investment uh, on the cryptocurrency market. So I think uh, it's a simple and a really needed product. That's why people loved it. Thank you, Maxim, for your time. We wish you success in your project development and high profits for your users. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> it was Maxim Yarushin, streaming to Chief Business Development Officer in Ecolosco News Studio. Stay with us.